What's up gearhead? Toby with GearReport.com. Today we're out here again at Minor Ridge Armory reviewing the Taurus GX4. Stick around. So the guys at Taurus sent us out the Taurus GX4 to review and take a look at. Uh, I, I won't bore you with sitting here reading through the specifications of it, since I'm going to be talking through some of the, uh, the pros and cons of it here in just a minute anyways, but I will put those up on the screen for you to read through as I'm talking through this. So full disclaimer again, of course they sent this to me uh, to review, uh, and they sent about 200 rounds of ammunition of a couple different kinds, uh, different brands that you'll see as we're, we're progressing through the video here. Uh, and so, I mean, full disclaimer, I didn't pay for the firearm, uh, and I only ran about 200 rounds, maybe closer to 250, counting some of my own personal ammunition through the firearm. So everything I'm going to tell you for pros and cons is contingent on that amount of shooting and that amount of, of time. I haven't actually put, you know, a thousand rounds through it or anything like that uh, just yet. So, you know, I, ca I can't offer a comprehensive, extensive, and in-depth review of it, but I can give you a review of, of some of the pros and cons of it uh, as compared to a lot of the other shooting that I've done in the past and how this one has performed for the round count that I have put through it. So some of the pros I can tell you about it right off the bat are the, the magazine. So let's start with that. So this is a 11 round double stack Mechgar branded magazine, which means that out of the box, you're going to get a capacity of 11 plus one or grand total of 12. Now for a single stack firearm, or sorry, for a double stack micro pistol like that, that's actually pretty good amount. That's a pretty good round count. Um, the quality of the magazine is on par with everything else that Metgar produces. That to me is an extreme positive. If I'm going to rely on a magazine, I want it to be a good quality. I want it to be solid. And as you can tell, it's metal. It's not, you know, polymer frame or or a plastic or anything like that. Uh, injection molded plastic. It is a solid metal Met Gear magazine like you're used to from them. Now, another positive from a size perspective is the size. So, cleared Smith and Wesson shield. I'm gonna hold the two of them up together and see if you can kind of get an idea of the the size differences here. Okay, so this is the shield over here, and this is the Taurus GX4. To kind of give you an idea. So obviously a pro to this pistol is, is going to be its, its size, as far as carry size on your body. Um, to me, that's a definite pro. Not anything spectacularly amazing, because it's on par with every, every other brand these days as far as the size goes for a subcompact pistol, but still great bonus combined with that 11 plus one. Another couple of pros on this thing that I felt that I really enjoyed for me in the way that I shoot is this indented cut leading up to the area right above where the, the magazine release is. I love how when I get a grip on this thing, it my finger just naturally goes into that channel and kind of moves itself down towards whenever I want to do a magazine change. That's an amazing bonus for me and definitely a pro. Another pro for me is this flat shoe trigger. I'm a huge fan of a flat shoe trigger. Now again, that's just me personally. I can't say whether or not that'd be a positive for you or not. Another couple positives are the serrated slide, front, front serrations on the slide. So for press checks or for over the top reloads, 
you get a better grip on the front of it there. Another pro is the stippling right above the trigger guard on either side for where your fingers rest naturally and they do rest naturally right on those stippling. So that's a really good one for my size hand. Now bear in mind your mileage may vary if your hands are bigger or smaller. Another pro in my mind is for the way that I do reloads is this cutout indented space right here where the magazine meets the pistol grip. Now, what that means is Taurus is allowed for in the event that, that there's a stuck magazine, like you go to release and, and for whatever reason there's dirt or an obstruction in there, it doesn't want to let go and, and spring freely, though this one clearly does. You have that little gap area to where you can grip and rip. You can grip and rip a magazine that gets stuck in there. That to me is a really good, really good feature for, for a pistol in this price range. Now, another couple pros on this thing include a, uh, the quick and easy takedown on it. Now, I'm just gonna do a dirty, quick and dirty here. I'm not, going to, I'm not going to do a full breakdown or a field strip or a cleaning video, but basically speaking, with the trigger live or not live, I can turn this with a screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, and then, till it clicks, pull the trigger and then remove it. Now, obviously there's a con to the fact that you do have to, to pull the trigger to get it off, but you'll notice that I didn't pull the trigger until after I had turned the screw. The reverse for putting it back together, is do that, and you'll see that the screw turns itself back into place. So the ease of breakdown, instead of having to pull and hold and do anything weird on this one is, is to me is a, a definite positive. Another pro that I found with this firearm, if you can see the dirt all over it, and I'm, I'll splice in some video, is the rigidity, strength, and durability of the pistol. I mean, don't get me wrong, again, I haven't put through a thousand rounds or 10,000 rounds or anything crazy like that, but I did kind of beat the snot out of this thing for a, a micro pistol, for sure, and it, it just ate everything I fed at it, fed to it, and, and didn't, it had no failures, no, no issues of any kind whatsoever. Another positive I want to talk about, another pro to this firearm is, is the sights. Now, you won't see this anywhere on the official website, but you will notice that when they say it takes standard sights, that the channel that they've cut into it and the front sight are actually similar to a Glock sight. So, you didn't hear this from me, and again, your mileage may vary, but that rear slide cut for, for the rear sight and the front are very, 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 very similar to a Glock. If you're considering putting an aftermarket iron sight into the slide. To me, that's a positive, the availability of parts.
let's talk about the trigger. So if we can get that on camera. So you got about that much take up, a good solid stiff wall. There's nothing mushy up to the take up and then a crisp break. Reset, about that far. Again, crisp solid, just a solid wall, crisp clean break, reset, wall, solid break. So there's nothing mushy, nothing gritty about this trigger right out of the box. It's a pretty solid contender. The poundage on it, very reasonable, very respectful. Nothing in, in the way of like an 8, 10, 15 pound trigger, nothing like that. Now that leads us into a con. Now I want to be abundantly clear on this, this first con, that your mileage is absolutely going to vary for this one. This may not be a con for you, but it is a con for me and the way that I shoot. And the first con is that just like with all other micro pistols, my hand tends to fall up underneath the pistol. Now I'm a size medium hand. I'm not, not any kind of massive basketball player or anything of that nature, but my hand falls under it. Now that along with my pinky following under, falling under the, the uh, magazine is a problem for me when I go to shoot. And what I mean by a problem for me is it's not that it, that it affects the way that I shoot. It's not that it affects the accuracy of the firearm in any way, shape, form, or fashion. It's just a personal preference, literally a personal preference. I can still shoot this one just as good as I can a full size pistol or uh, even a medium size or standard compact pistol. So it doesn't negatively affect the performance of the firearm. It's just a personal preference for me. So that con, you can chalk it up to what you want to. The next con though, I, I'm gonna give the disclaimer here that I'm not sure if every GX4 has this issue or if it was the ammo that, that Taurus sent me or if it was just me and the way that I used the firearm. But without fail, I would hit low and left consistently. Now again, don't know if it's the length of the barrel, uh, but at seven, you know, it can't be the distance because at seven yards, that's pretty. That's a pretty standard metric to measure any firearm by. But again, don't know if it was the ammo, 115 grain. Don't know if it was the firearm. Don't know if it was me pushing the trigger. But the me pushing the trigger, I'm I'm less inclined to agree with because first I let some other people shoot it. Secondly. I actually did it across multiple different days, multiple different times, multiple different um, methods, whether it was speed or whether it was slowing down and trying to hit accuracy, multiple different ways of shooting the firearm. So if it were me, I think I would have ironed that out eventually in one of those or others who were shooting it also wouldn't have been hitting low left uh, if it were just me. So take that with a grain of salt as a con, your mileage absolutely may vary. My suggestion to you is if you're thinking about buying this firearm, go to a, a, uh, a range that allows you to either rent or borrow from a friend and shoot that firearm and test it out for yourself. Uh, because that con does actually lead into, you know, the most important thing about a firearm is its usability and its accuracy. So thanks for sticking around for a review out here at Mountain Ridge Armory of the Taurus GX4. We appreciate your time. Hopefully some of this information has been helpful for you to make a decision about whether or not to purchase the TX or the GX4. If you've got a difference of opinion or if you've had different results with yours, post us up some information in the comments and we'll try to, to uh, respond back to you as quickly as we can. See what you think about the GX4 and what your experience has been with Taurus and some of their firearms. Till we see you out on the range, you keep living your dream.